So Liam, a few days since you were announced as a Hull City player, how have you found your first few days with the team? Yeah, no, very in- enjoyable. I think obviously I had one day in, in England and then here here for the rest. So it's been it's been nice being here, kind of away with the boys, obviously all day, all night. So kind of getting getting used to the boys and the staff, and I think they've all been so welcoming with me and, and helped me ease into the group. Do you feel like you almost joined at the perfect time just before we we flew out to Turkey? Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, everyone knows on on these trips you get you get probably a lot closer to to people because you are with them constantly, and so it does kind of bond everyone together. You've joined us on a season long loan from Manchester City. Can you just tell us a bit more about how the move came about? Yeah, so I think I had. Back in the last season, we had the Under-20 World Cup in, in Argentina, so kind of focused on that and, and didn't really focus on anything else. And then when when got back from there, obviously I heard from from the gaffer and, and stuff that they was interested in, and then had a few phone calls with him and, and then came up to the training ground and it kind of everything from there kind of went very quickly and was into training, I think two days after. How big a factor was the gaffer, Liam Messina, and you deciding to, to come here? I think it's it's important. I think I was attracted to, to how he kind of sets up and how he how he plays. I think what he's, what he's got going and his principles and the way he plays, I think that is kind of what I'm used to more of and, and it is what I enjoy to do. So um, I was just very excited and, and kind of just looking forward to come straight into it. And you've had a few days working with him now, how have you found that so far? Yeah, really good. I think all, this, all the staff and all the boys have been really good and, and all the boys buy, in, buy into what the staff are trying to tell us and, and teach us, so I think it has probably been very good, yes. Did you know any of the players here before, before joining? Um, not personally, obviously. I know Xavier from he obviously came to the World Cup and I've I've played with him at England in, in youth level I think. But other than that obviously I've I've watched boys and played against boys but not not anyone else, no. You got a lot of experience in the championship last season with, with Stoke City and Preston North End. Do you feel like you learnt a lot last season on those two loan spells? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's kind of my first full season in in the men's in the men's game and as a young boy going playing against experienced boy, uh, men, you, you you learn so much, and I think there was a points in the season that were, that were tough and hard, and I think from them you probably learn learn the most. So hopefully going into this season, I can use that little bit of experience to to go on. You played against us once under the management of Liam for Preston in the goalless draw at the MKM Stadium. What are your memories of playing against us on that day? I think obviously I was I was pressing, so I was I was running about a lot. I think the setup it was it was hard to press, so it kind of not stuck with me, but obviously remember the game. And you had your two loan spells last season. How much are you now looking forward to being here for the season and really cracking on in, in the championship? Yeah, I'm I'm so excited. I think obviously coming into it now, it's it's the second season of playing in the championship and I think I've kind of before last season I kind of was straight into it, joined up late, but coming here now and, and being and doing the full pre season I think it's gonna help me helped me a lot more and hopefully the season goes well. For those who haven't watched you play before, how would you describe yourself as a striker? I think I'm, I'm powerful, aggressive, quick. I think I'm a good finisher and, and hopefully this season can bring, bring goals and, and assists to this team. We've got a lot of attacking talent already at the club with Oscar, Benji, Aliar. How much are you looking forward to competing with them for a place in the team? Yeah, you know, a hundred percent. I think it's always healthy to to have competition. So you push each other and, and drive each other to to do better. I think obviously we've had some great great training sessions here, and everyone's been everyone's been at it. So it's going to be really enjoyable. You had your first experience of pulling on the shirt the other night against Galatasaray. How did you find that experience? Yeah, it was it was really good. I think obviously 
there was there wasn't too many of our fans, but they brought a lot, and I think that that atmosphere and and not the pressure, but they was obviously against us and kind of going out there and and showing them what what we're about. It was a it was a really good experience. Have you ever experienced an atmosphere like that before? Yeah, I, I think a couple, but it was it was very good. We've obviously got a couple of days left here now in Turkey, another game on, on Sunday. How useful have you found this, this week away in Turkey with the rest of the lads? Yeah, really important. I think, obviously, it's so important that that you build your fitness up ready for the for the first game of the season and, and kind of get used to playing with each other again and, and learn from other boys what how they kind of like things. And I think, obviously, the other side of it, off the pitch stuff kind of bonding with all the players it kind of brings you closer together as a group so it's it's so important these these little trips we've had a lot of tough training sessions out here are you already feeling a lot fitter a lot stronger ahead of the new season yeah i think that's even though when when we're doing it it's probably not the nicest thing but the tough sessions they put you in good stead and i think when you are work, working hard you're only going to get fitter so it's only going to become easier but everyone needs it and i think Everyone obviously understands that that's what they need and that's what we want. So it's it's been enjoyable. How much are you now looking forward to to going back home and having the opportunity to play in front of thousands of Hull City fans at the MKM Stadium? Yeah, it's so much. I think obviously fans are, are probably what makes football football. I think without fans, it would not be anything really so I think it's just so enjoyable playing in front of a crowd and, and listening to everyone cheering. There's a lot of excitement for next season how much are you looking forward to being a part of part of it here? Yeah it's so much I think obviously like I said the the boys have, have really been good in, in the first I know I've only had four days here but it's been really good and I think everyone understands what the manager wants so I think we can use this next few weeks to kind of build and really, really start going at it, ready for the first game of the season. Have you set yourself any personal targets for next season or is it more of a case of just helping the team finish as high as we can? Yeah, I think obviously I, I set my own little goals. I think everyone does, maybe short term, whether it's long term, but I think here I just want to score as many goals and win as many games for the team as I can, whether that's just scoring, assisting or just helping the team out. But as long as we get them three points at the end of the game, then I'm happy.